All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And the double Shalom taught Akima there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. All right, now the title of this video is called Having Patience in the truth all right having patience in the truth all right and this video is is um of course the videos we do are um exhortation and and um correction for ourselves first and foremost all right but also to the hopeful elect the ones who are taking heed uh who may be edified by the by the video as well all right so without further ado let's jump right into it all right the definition of patience it reads to be able to accept or tolerate delays or sufferings without becoming annoyed or anxious okay again patience means to be able to accept or tolerate delays problems or sufferings without becoming annoyed or anxious and we all know when you become anxious you move impulsively you move without um, logic or reason based off of emotion okay it says um, forbearing tolerant long suffering composed okay understanding all right wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times all right and that word and knowledge means understanding okay um persistent tenacious diligent determined so when you're patient you're determined okay purposeful all right so those are some of the definitions of what patient means so without further ado um sirach chapter 2 verse 1 it says my son if thou come to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation all right and for those of us that's in the faith you know we we're coming to serve you how about right and there are many ways that we are tempted cons consistently constantly right okay um whether it be tempted of um you know uh family members tempting us to try to lure us not to go out there on Saturdays to preach the truth, you know, or, you know, people trying to entice you to, to try out, you know, ingredients that include that, that has abominable foods in it, you know, or um, a woman trying to entice you into, uh, you know, you into sleeping with her who has a man, which we know that's committing adultery. All right? But there's many ways temptations are coming upon us, the ones in this faith, man. All right. But well, we are to know that coming into the faith. Verse 2, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Okay? And we are to set our, our hearts aright. That word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lav, which means your right, your mind, salakia. It says, and constantly endure, meaning constantly suffer. You know, constantly, you know, um, suffering for righteous sake, man. Okay? It says, and make not haste in time of trouble. All right, and, and, and make not haste. Don't move impulsively. So that goes back to patience. Okay, it says to be able to accept or tolerate delays, problems, or sufferings without becoming annoyed or anxious. Again, that's the definition of what patience is. So when you make haste in a time of trouble, you're being impatient. You're moving impulsively. Okay, verse three, cleave unto him. Cleave unto who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the heavenly father through the name of Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son. It says, and depart not away. Depart not away from the faith. All right, continuing to live the righteous way and have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that he's going to bring you through. It says that thou mayest be increased at the last end. All right, and we are at the end. We at the end of Esau, the so-called white man's rulership. Okay, verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate you know whether you're behind on the bill you know and and you know you don't you don't um you don't move impulsively you you don't like jake majority of our people when they're behind on something where well, they want to you know take the crooked route to get themselves out of that situation man all right that's that's um leaning into your own understanding you know the scripture say trust the lord with all all thy heart and lean unto thy um, it's like it. Trust the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. Okay? 
You know, don't don't um, go out there making your own emotional decisions because you didn't want to wait on the Lord when you were brought low. OK, I'm going to read that again. Sirach 2 and 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And we all going to be brought down to a lower state. OK, when that RFID chip is made mandatory. OK, that's what the whole earth will be tempted with that chip, which is the mark of the beast. OK, that's the low. That's that's a lower state that we're all going to experience. But we are to be patient, meaning we're supposed to suffer and we're not supposed to be impulsive about it. All right. When 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 um, you know, scriptures say you, you won't be able to buy or sell without that chip. All right. But if you truly have patience and you're waiting on the Lord, calling on your how about Shem Shai and believing and trusting those things, the Lord is going to provide for you the things you need. OK. All right. It says, verse five, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, you know, and the ones that who are brought through adversity and make it through through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, those are the ones who are, are compared to as, you know, the precious metal as, as gold, you know. It says, verse six, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in the Lord. Verse seven, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. So if you truly fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you're going to wait on him. You're going to suffer through the, the temporal um, sufferings because we know this is not everlasting, all right? Because we have the knowledge to know these things, man, okay? It says, verse 7, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Verse 8, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. The Lord said, um, um, you know, matter of fact, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get the precept because um, the scriptures say that, um, you know, the Lord is going to protect those basically who, who believe in him. You know, let me see. Um, the book of Psalms, chapter 118. Yep. The book of Psalms, chapter 115, chapter 11. I mean, Salakia, the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. So the Lord is going to be the help and the shield of those who actually um, have patience to wait on him, which goes back to fear, you know? So it says, verse 9, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. You know? Verse 10, Look at the generations of old and see, did any... Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? You know, think about King David, King Solomon, um, you know, Moses, Noah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Lord Yahweh Shai, okay? Did any of them trust in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, and was put, was, was ashamed, you know, was uh, neglected? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Okay, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You know, the Lord loves those who trust in him and call on his name, you know, for salvation, you know, to be protected for mercy. Verse 11, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. See, the Lord is going to save the elect in the time of affliction. The elect is going to have fear and call on you. How about Shia is going to have patience, you know. That's why we got to pray. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. We got to pray for more patience because we we go through small examples. And, you know, even if we haven't really hit full fledged Jacob's trouble, we go through sufferings, man. We go through time moments where we are at all time low. OK, but that's a lower state that we're just we're, we're being we're being tested. We're being brought through um, the fire. But what we're we're to call on you. How about Shemiah? Should I pray? Continue to be diligent in the faith. You know, and keeping the law, pushing the um, truth to the best of our ability. And the Lord is going to bring us through that, man. OK. But um, so verse 12, woe to be like you, woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go of two ways. OK. The scriptures say a double minded man is unstable in, in all his ways. You got a lot of um lukewarm Jake's who truly don't have faith in you. How about Shai? 
All right, scripture say, woe to those, man, those that truly um, are weak, you know, and don't want to continue to be in the faith, man. Verse 13, woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, okay? Therefore shall he not be defended, you know, the, those who are weak-minded, who don't really truly um, have faith in Yahweh Hashem Shai, who are waving, you know, um, in their in their belief, man, you know, one day... They 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 feel like they they truly have faith in Yahweh Shem Shai, and then when they go through a little adversity, you know, small adversity, they they uh, they fold under pressure, man. Okay, verse fourteen. Woe unto you that have lost patience. You know, that's why we gotta have patience in this truth. It's all is it, is you know it, it's an important thing to have patience. I'm gonna say it's all about it, but that's an important ingredient, man. You know. Long suffering, going through the adversity that we're faced with, man. All right, woe means death and destruction. The ones who lost patience in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, ultimately are going to be destroyed, man. All right, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah, what are you going to do when the Lord visits you? Because the Lord is coming back, our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, and he, it's right around the corner, man. You can feel it through the Spirit. You've seen the prophecies, you know, be made known. All right, we're in a time where, you know, death and destruction is coming forth, man. And the ones that truly fear you, how about Shemia was shy and have patience, the Lord's going to protect, man. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Okay, and I'm going to end off on a cup, uh, on this scripture right here. Okay, it says, the book of St. Peter, chapter 3, okay, verse 10. But, it, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise see our lord and savior is coming as a thief in the night all right and when he comes you know he's coming to redeem the elect further bring forth destruction to america all right and esau or uh, these edomites the so-called white people their kingdom is is going to be finished man their heaven is going to um is going to pass away it says with a great noise from those icbm missiles the latest land desolate and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the works also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So everything you see around you are elements. They're all going to be burnt up, man. This is a, a, a fearful vision, man, that's soon to be, um, you know, soon to play out here in America on the face of the earth, man. Verse 11, seeing that, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So we're supposed to be conducting ourselves, preparing and hasting for the time of our Lord and Savior that's coming forth, man. Being patient, you know, going through the long suffering, but it also getting right so we can be found blameless, you know, in a time of um, refreshing. All right. Verse 12. Looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens shall be on fire, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Okay. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, it says, verse 13, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, okay, which the earth abided forever, saying refreshing, okay, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, it says, verse 14, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. And isn't that one of the definitions of patience? To be diligent. That ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Verse 15, here's the point. And to count that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. You know, to have to, to have patience, which goes back to long suffering, you know, a equates to you know salvation. And only the elect is going to possess that. And that's why we pray for those things, man. You know, it says, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him have written unto you so patience is a very important ingredient to have in this faith man you know so with that being said before i close out i want to give all praises honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem rakakwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone for teaching us the 100 percent truth according to the bible and who rule well and a double shalom to all the out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.